Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you the new render styles in Anime Studio version 8. This is going to be a really quick tutorial on demonstrating how you can create different effects within your animation with just a few clicks of the button. This feature is new to Anime Studio version 8. I recently acquired a version of Anime Studio version 8, and so I thought for the next few tutorials here I do with the software, I would highlight these new features so you can take advantage of them. So to get started, open up a project file that you've been working on, or you can draw something out quickly on the stage. Right now I have a project file open from my new episode of Mr. Bennick's class, which by the way, I recommend you check out. Yes, shameless plug. So. There it is, I'm plugging away. Once you have your project file open, go to File, Project Settings, or Control Shift P. Now here, we open up the Project Settings window, which you might be familiar with if you've used Anime Studio in the past. You have your dimensions, your depth of field, and so on. However, there is a new section here entitled Render Style. And here you can dictate the fill, stroke, and layer style of your project. So what we can do here is we can select options, we can combine options of all these different types to create a unique look for your project. And all it requires you to do here is select these options and then hit OK. And once you render your project out, these effects will be applied then to your animation. So what we can do is select these options and get a preview of what they might look like on this window here. So if we select None for the Fill Style, you'll see that it does away with our Fill Style completely. On the other hand, if we choose Pen, it creates a sketch look as if like someone just went over really quick and drew this in with a pen. So that is pretty cool. We can also adjust the stroke style as well. So we could go to basic black, which you can see darkens in some of the outlines of your strokes. Or we can do crayon like we did with the fill color, but it'll just affect the strokes of that as opposed to the fill. And finally, the layer styles allow you to do a heavy outline, which you can see really does a heavy outline, or a cutout look, which does pretty much white outlines, or kind of gives the illusion that these items are cut out and pasted on to the stage. What you can do here is create an effect by combining these effects. So we could choose, for instance, a sketchy stroke effect with a hatched fill effect if we wanted to, or a crayon effect, whatever you really want to do. Once you have it all figured out, or once you want to try it out, click OK, and you'll notice that it doesn't appear on your preview right away. Well, if you go to Control R, or go to File, Preview, you'll see that this will render out. And you can see that it has a very different style that you saw on my preview. We have the dark outlines, we have the sketchy lines, and we also have the, um, the crayon effect coming into play with our fills. So that's just one example of what you can do. And again, once you see this, how this looks, and if you're like, well, no, this isn't what I want, you can easily just go back into your project settings, and reconfigure. Let's say this time you want no fill style and you click OK and then you render it out and you can just play around with this just to see what you can do with these different render styles. It's a really cool addition to the software. It kind of opens up a few different possibilities for stylizing your animations and all it really requires is just a few clicks of the button and some trial and error. So anyway, if you have Anime Studio 8 or you plan on picking up a copy, I would recommend checking out that feature. I think it would help as far as creating a unique look for your animation. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you next time.